Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a real challenge on Irish dairy farms at the moment and it is co-fertility. So we started seeing signs there, uh, the college would pick up zero activity in a few certain cows. Like I said, it's normal um, and normally we go in with a shot of progesterone just to see if we can get them cycling back. But these four ladies, they just never came around. So they clearly have an underlying issue and uh, we're gonna have to get to the bottom of that. So the likely causes of this probably poor facility in these four cows could be um, a low energy balance in the diet. Could be stress after calfing, which I presume the lady that had the twins, that's probably what her issues are just low progesterone. So we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll uh, uh, coil these cows and we'll go from there. So at the making of this video, I had 84 out of 88 cows AI'd, which was about 95% of the cow, cows sorry, AI'd after six weeks. Um, this is due to the short winter we had and good spring. I think cow fertility and cow health was through the roof. So that really helped here with the AI season and breeding season. So just going on to the SenseWap app and I'm just looking through the anisotrous cows. So we have three cows here that are showing, uh, two showing no signs of heat and one showing irregular signs of heat. And then obviously we had a, a lay cow as well and say that there are just a few more cows that are going in heat. But uh, we'll go through that now and we'll get these cows in the crush, we're going to separate it into the crush and we'll work from there. So here is the dibs or the cedars that you would use on your cows that aren't cycling right or if you want to synchronize them. So I um, picked this up from Clashmore Veterinary in Bally Duff. And they have given me a program as well. So yeah, here's just a program you can see there. So that's your, your program for your dairy cows, for your heifers, and for your beef animals. So yeah, um, where we were here. So I've given them the Polusin. I've given him the dip and it's every day's time I'm gonna give him the damn frost and then the damn frost again and take out the device and then we'll give him the bonus in again and then at day 10 I think is it day 10 I can uh, I'm going with AI so look we'll keep an eye on it and the colours will obviously pick up the heats as well for this so yeah we'll just keep an eye on it. So first cow in the crush yeah so Taking out the device out of the bag here, make sure you're wearing gloves because it is basically a bag full of hormones. You don't want decking on you. So place the device in the cedar gun. Make sure the cord is coming out and pointing downwards. You can cut the cord to whatever size you need after. So just make sure it's in properly. Make sure the cord is coming out the back. Don't forget your paper towels. Almost forgot it there. Don't forget your paper towels and clean the coat. So, yeah, get the paper towel there now. And you just see there now the fat is starting to wash down the powder after milking. And I'm going to eat the head off him because I'm afraid he's going to hit the barrels with the body washer and knock everything up on the ground. So, yeah, it doesn't always work out the right way. So yeah, I'm just cleaning down the coat. Make sure she's good and clean. And then you're gonna be placing your gun in at a 45 degree angle and you're going in first. You don't want it to go into the bladder. And you'll keep pushing in until it comes to a resistance that you can no longer go. And then you're gonna uh, push your plunger, release your um, your device inside the coat. So there now, I just got it in. So release your device inside the coat. Make sure the string is coming down and facing downwards. Because if it's facing upwards, you can kind of tickle the cow and she can have her tail cocked and then other cows go come on and lick that device out. So I'm gonna cut the string as well. And then finally, I'm gonna give her an injection. So there, I'm just giving out to the fatter once again. 
expecting him to go away with the body washer in case he wins something. So I'm just cutting the device off the string. It only needs to be an inch or two just so that you can grab it and pull it over the coat. And last but not least, the shot of prolesin, two mil prolesin into the muscle. Uh, just looking for the gun there now, got it. Straight into the neck and we'll move on to the next coat. So this next lady, this red lady, is 2019. She's probably one of the most favorite cows in the herd. The daughter loves her, but she had a lay calf, and so we're trying to get her back in calf. And hopefully this works. So she had got sex semen last year. She was nearly there at the end of the breed season. She lost the embryo, and so I took the decision to leave the Aberdeen Angus bull with her, just so that she would go in calf, even though she would be late. Once again, it's a simple process. It's basically <coughs> clean your gun, disinfect it. I have warm water there in that other jar, clean it off. Um, make sure it's good and dry, make sure it's good and clean. There was a bit of residue on it, so I'm gonna just get this paper towel here and clean it off. Once again, place your device into your gun, making sure that the string is coming out the back and facing downwards in your, out of your plunger. So place it in, lube up your gun properly. You will need the lube to get it into the right area for the coat. So lots of lube, don't spare it. Don't forget a tissue to clean the coat. And once again, clean down the coat properly, nice and clean, you don't want to spread any infection there. You're going into the coat at roughly a 45 degree angle, all the way in, press the plunger, release your device, make sure the string isn't pointing upwards, make sure it's pointing downwards, and you can cut it to the right size after. Now, uh, this is my first time doing these on coats. As you can see, uh, I have zero, zero practice on this. But look, we'll give it a go. Hopefully it works. And once again, give her her two mil shot. So I'm just gonna put the rest of this on a bit of a, I suppose, time lapse. Uh, Cause it's basically very repetitive and you'll see it all being done.
Now, in case you missed it, I completely forgot to inject this cow. In my rush to get the cows out the grass, I forgot to do the last cow there, and I'm running down the passageway trying to catch her. Thankfully, she stopped to drink water. I was able to get her to the water truck in, got her injected, and I was back to this cow. Fairly snappy. Just in the powder here, pulling out the devices, fairly handy. Just doing it long enough that I'm able to grab them inside the powder. So pull them out, nice and careful. This one had slightly got in, but the string was too short. So this lady here is getting the Belgian Blue um, straw number BB8496. I've used it before and uh, found it fairly good. Found I got a good calf off it, so she's getting that. And I'll pop that up there for you. So the second lady here is getting the white head uh, straw, HE5346, used it as well last year, found a good, found a decent calf off it. Um, she's a small bit lighter than the first coat, so she'll get the white head. Um, there's no dairy or dairy straws used after Paddy's Day here. Try to get all the dairy calves done before Paddy's Day, and it'll all beefed in after that. Just finishing off here the story for the side of the ground. Um, that's the update for the week. I hope it helps anyone facing similar issues on the farm with fertility. Um, look, drop a comment below if you're facing similar issues and if you've gone in with a program on your cows or your heifers. Are you using cedars? Are you using dibs? Or are you just letting them come naturally? I'd love to hear how you manage your own herd. Uh, so just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon for more weekly updates. And thanks for watching, thanks for taking the time to watch this. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next week.